Uh, I'd like to extend a formal welcome uh, uh, to everyone, to uh, Molivos and uh, to this uh, very special occasion on uh, behalf of uh, the Stavros Niavos Foundation Center for Hellenic Studies at uh, Simon Fraser University. Uh, I'm really uh, delighted to be able to be here with uh, my friend and colleague uh, of years, uh, Sadia Abbas, uh, who is in many ways responsible uh, for uh, sort of poking me like a Socratic horsefly uh, and pushing me towards, uh, uh, the, uh, to, towards uh, projects like this one. Uh, this is a project that came uh, up, uh, its seeds came up in many ways uh, so much earlier uh, than uh, this uh, past uh, year when we first met in Ann Arbor. Uh, the first conversations we had uh, ended up leading us to Molivos and as a space where one could both teach and perhaps uh, start thinking. So I'm really happy that uh, we have finally achieved that. We have taught here, uh, but we have finally uh, reached this point. Uh, and uh, I'll just take one uh, uh, minute more uh, to reflect on something. Uh, we are here in many ways uh, also because uh, Hellenic studies was created uh, by yeah. someone, yes. by the vision of someone who relentlessly worked uh, for the past uh, 20 something years from the moment he landed the job in uh, Vancouver at Simon Fraser University uh, as a historian of modern Greek history. Uh, my uh, late colleague Andrei Gerolimatos who just passed uh, on May 30th yeah. uh, after a, a horrific uh, year with, uh, with brain cancer. Um, for those of you who have never met Andre, uh, a person who always wanted to uh, talk to people, was open to talking to people and bring very different people uh, both uh, as personalities, but also as ide ideas and perspectives uh, together. Uh, a person who never took a sabbatical for uh, the length of his career, building through relentless fundraising uh, the resources with which, uh, in many ways, uh, we can uh, play. Uh, I owe him the fact that I'm here. I owe him the fact that I have a beautiful career. I owe him the fact that I have a home in Vancouver and that I can work from my other home here.